thank you for purchasing a Billib grandfather clock. Billib are an established family business supplying high quality grandfather clocks for over 30 years. Your clock has been manufactured by some of the finest craftsmen and women from around the world. And only the highest quality timbers and precision movements are used. Delivery will be direct to your home. We take great care to ensure your clock will arrive in perfect condition. When it arrives, you will need to remove some specialist packaging and attach the weights and pendulum, which is quite straightforward. So please watch this video through now, so that when your beautiful clock arrives, you will be able to enjoy it without delay. Thank you. Bye-bye. You may be aware that there are two different types of grandfather clock, chain-driven and cable-driven. If you're unsure what type yours is, check inside the front of the clock to see if the chains or a cable and pulleys are present. To set up your clock, you will need the following items to hand. A pair of soft cotton gloves or cotton duster to prevent tarnishing. A spirit level. Hardboard or coins to level the clock. A thin bladed screwdriver to remove staples. And a pair of scissors. Some clocks have staples in the box. Remove them with the screwdriver to avoid scratching the clock when you lift it out. Cut off the transit bands and please ensure all items are removed from the box before discarding. If you can, choose a position for your clock that is not too near a heat source or indirect sun. Now check that your clock is level, check front to back and side to side. Even it up using small pieces of hardboard or coins, or adjust the feet if present. Whilst wearing your gloves, release the chains from their packing and allow to hang freely. Gaining access from the front, you'll need to remove the packaging from around the chime rods. The transit tie will also need to be removed first. Carefully cut this and then remove the cardboard. From either a side or back panel, remove the transit band from around the hammers. Cut this off with scissors and remove any other packing that is present. We suggest you keep some packaging in case the clock needs to be moved again. Now unwrap the pendulum and taking great care, attach it to the suspension rod in the top section of the clock. You do this by hooking it onto the fitment. Check that it is secure before you let go. Straighten the bob at the base of the pendulum if necessary. Time now to attach the weights to the chains. Once again, unwrap them carefully. The hook and eye system ensures that you cannot attach the weights in the wrong order. A hook goes into an eye and an eye into a hook. Now set your clock in motion by simply giving the pendulum a good swing. Nearly all Billib clocks have an automatic balance facility. The clock will be in beat straight away. To set up your clock, you will need the following items to hand. A pair of soft cotton gloves or cotton duster to prevent tarnishing a spirit level, hardboard or coins to level the clock, a thin bladed screwdriver to remove staples, and a pair of scissors. Some clocks have staples in the box. Remove them with the screwdriver to avoid scratching the clock when you lift it out. Cut off the transit bands. And please ensure all items are removed from the box before discarding.
If you can, choose a position for your clock that is not too near a heat source or indirect sun. Now check that your clock is level, check front to back and side to side. Even it up using small pieces of hardboard or coins, or adjust the feet if present. You will need to remove the packaging from around the chime rods. This is stapled in and should be pulled away gently. If there are polystyrene pads in place at the top of each cable, leave them for a couple of hours or so. These can be removed when the weights have moved down. Gaining access from either a side or back panel, remove the transit band from around the hammers. Cut this off with scissors and remove any other packing that is present. We suggest you keep some packing in case the clock is moved again. Carefully unwrap the pendulum and attach it to the suspension rod in the top section of the clock. Check that it's secure before letting go. Straighten the bob at the base of the pendulum if necessary. Now unwrap the weights. There may be letters to indicate hanging positions. That is L for left hand with the clock facing you, C for center and R for right. The lightest weight hangs on the left. Now give the pendulum a good swing. Due to the automatic balance facility, your clock will be in beat straight away. Over time, your carpet may settle unevenly due to gripper rods near the back of the wall. This will cause your clock to lean forward slightly. Check with a spirit level and adjust with a coin or piece of board or with the adjustable feet as necessary. Some clocks have an automatic night off facility. This prevents chimes working at night. If your clock is chiming during the night and is silent in the day, stop the clock by gently stopping the pendulum and restart after 12 hours. Alternatively, select the correct time by stopping at each quarter and allowing your clock to chime. Most Bilib clocks have a silent mode, and this can be selected if you have many hours to change. Reselect the chimes when you have finished. Don't worry if the clock chimes bear no relevance to what the hands are showing. This will correct itself after an hour or two. For other general queries, such as time adjustment, adjustment of moon dial, and servicing, please read the instruction manual sent with your clock. We are sure you will find setting up your Bilib clock simple and straightforward, and you will have many years of trouble-free enjoyment. But if you do have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact us on the number shown at the end of this video. You may also like to know that Bilib supply a high quality selection of wall and mantle clocks.